Are you aware that a friend to my enemy has automatically become my enemy? Do you know why? Because that person is a friend to my enemy. Hello, you are welcome to my channel. My name is Blessing Ejichi. I want to tell you about 10 things that you should not do. If you do them, you are beginning to bring limitations upon yourself. Like the first statement I make, I made in the introduction. There are people that took or inherited enemies of their friends. They do not know that those people they inherited as enemies were actually their destiny helpers. So when they got to the place that those people are expected to, to, to help them, they didn't find help. Why? Because they have already inherited them as their enemies. So I want to tell you 10 things that you should not do. If you want to go far in life, if you want to become somebody and you don't want any limitation in your life, these 10 things don't do them. Number one, don't depend on a man to help you. Don't depend, don't put your trust on a human being to help you. No, a human being will definitely fail you. The Bible told us that woe to is a man that put his trust on men. Human being does not have the ability. Sometimes they want to help you from the genuineness of their heart. But nobody knows about tomorrow. When I was in school, a young lady told me of a man that volunteered to train her all through her university education. So, she put her trust in this man and she took the form, she got the admission and she resumed. The day she was going to collect her school fees, when she got to the man's house, she saw the man's picture and people were, were mourning. The day she was about to collect her school fees was the day that man died. That man has sincerity of heart to actually train this woman, but she, but the man could not because he was limited. So when you begin to put your trust on a man, I also remember there was a form that we, we were filling one time to receive some grants from the government. After we finished filling this, this form, a man took it to help us to present it to the appropriate quarter. So this form was in the process of disbursement. They were about to disburse this money to us when this man eventually died. And nobody was able to go ahead to take those funds for us again because the person that was helping us died. If you put your trust on a man, a man can fail you. But there is a person that you ought to put your trust in. That is God. God never fail anybody. So if you want to put your trust on anybody, put your trust in God, not on a man. Because anybody that put his trust on a man is under a curse. Number two is stealing from someone to add to your own. Stealing from somebody to make your own to be more. It is bringing limitations upon yourself because that particular thing that you took and putting it in your own will definitely bring a cost to you. You remember the story of Achan. Achan was a warrior that went to fight with the children of Israel. And those things that God said he should not take were the things that he actually took and put it under his roof. What happened? At the end of the day, Achan and his children were killed because he took what does not belong to him. Anytime you take what belongs to you, you are bringing a curse into your family. You are bringing a, a, an accursed object into your, into, your, into your business. And once you put it in your business, you see that your business will begin to collapse. Number three thing that you should not do is cutting corner to go ahead. There are people that knows how to cut corners, how to how to how to smuggle their ways to the top. There are some people also that want to cut off the head of everybody because they want to be tallest. No, don't cut corner to go to the top. The Bible said that Jesus humbled himself and he was elevated. If you remain humble, if you bring yourself down, God has the ability to take you up. 
the way up is the way down. It is not possible for you to just climb to the, to, to the top of the ladder without starting from the bottom. There are also some people that we want to talk bad of those people who are ahead of them because they want to climb higher. They want to gain favor from people so that they will be at the top. You want to fall the people that are already there. See, let me tell you, if you fall people who are ahead of you because you want to climb high, when you climb there, you are going to fall. And when you fall, great is going to be the fall. So, don't cut corner in order to go higher. Then, number four is stop speaking evil of what you don't know. What you don't understand is older than you. So, anything that you don't understand, that thing is like a mystery to you. If you don't understand anything, don't speak bad of that particular thing. Don't speak evil of it. There are many people who have spoken evil of what they don't understand. And at the end of the day, that thing ends up to become the truth. If you don't understand anything, it's better you go to a person that they do understand for the person to teach you or put you through. And at the end of the day, if you understand and you discover that that thing is not true, it is false, you can have your own reservation. Sometimes you may not you may not understand everything. It's not everything in this world that we do understand. But the things that we don't understand, you ought not to speak evil of them. Then, number five is cheating others to increase. When you begin to use false wages, you as you are expected to sell sell one acre of land to a person, but you have cut some of the parts away. You want to sell three cups of tea to a person, you gave the person two and a half. That is using false wages. God hates it so much. God does not like a person that cheats other people in order to be rich. Number six is inheriting someone's enemy. Like the statement I began with, that a friend to my enemy is my enemy. No, you don't know if that, if that friend that is a friend to your enemy will become your destiny helpers. There are many people that said over their dead body will they greet some kind of people, but at the end of the day, those people ended up becoming their destiny helpers. You don't know the person that will help you tomorrow. So don't inherit anybody's enemy. Nobody should be your enemy. No. You should have you should have one-on-one -on -one interaction with them. There was one man that I had a counter with. So the man gave me assignment to organize some pastors for one particular program. So when I began to, to uh, 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 organize them for this program, and uh, when they see the man's name, they will say, ah, who is this man, no, 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 don't deal with him. This man is very dubious. This man is this, this man is that. When I, when I got home, I became discouraged. So anybody, I, uh, at least most of the prominent people I, I encountered to give them, to, the, to invite them for this program, began to speak bad of this particular man. Inside of me, I just thought that, okay, it's possible that this man may be bad, but since I have been associating with this man, this man has not really done anything to hurt me. This man has not really done anything that I'm going to say, I'm regretting because I have some size served him. At least it was for that particular program that we were united. Then I decided that I was going to deal with this man on a personal basis, not on what people told me, not on hearsay, or not on people's uh, recommendation. No, I'm going to deal with him personally. Since I have started dealing with him, I decided to do so. But do, do you know that he, today I have not had a cause to regret working with that man? I do not know how other people may have seen him, that he became their enemy. But do you know that I received a lot of favor from him? I received a lot of good things from him because I associated myself with him. There are many people that are enemies to your friends. Don't encourage those enemies. No, those people are not your enemies. And as a matter of fact, you don't become an enemy to somebody. Even if the person offended you, there is always a place of forgiveness because I don't believe, personally, I don't believe that after climbing a ladder to the top, then you have to fall the ladder 
or after crossing a bridge to across uh, you, 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 you cross a particular bridge and at the end of the day you burn the bridge so that uh, you will not cross again or somebody will not come and meet you. No. Once you burn that bridge, you don't know what is going to take you back to the place you are coming from. Once you fall that ladder, something may be warrant that you should come down in order to associate with the people that you have left. So when you have when you have bro broken the ladder or you have burned the bridge, what relationship where are you going to pass through in order to achieve what you want to achieve? Then number seven is believing that you have answer to everything. There are people that believe that they have answer to every question. They believe that they are omniscience. No, you are not omniscience. You must not have answer to everything. The best doctor is a doctor that admits that he does not know everything. That is the reason why they refer people. When they see some cases that are beyond them, they don't try their best. They know that this is not within their area or specialty. They refer. The same thing, the best specialist is the one that tells you that look at the area I specialize in. It does not know anything. A proof that you know is your ability to know that you don't know everything. If you have answer to everything, my dear, there is something wrong with you. It is not possible for a person to know everything that is on earth. And that is, if you see anybody that talks too much, those kind of people believe that they have answer to everything. And they argue about everything. When you see a person that argue too much, the person talks too much. The person believes that he knows more than everybody. And that is one of the proof to see, to, to show that a person is not wise. An unwise person thinks that he knows everything. Even the Bible in the book of James said, we should be quick to listen and slow to speak. Believe that you don't have answer. Believe that you don't have contribution. And when you keep quiet, you listen, you will learn more. There are many people that have made a lot of mistakes because they fail to listen to instruction. They fail to learn. If you fail to learn, you are going to be in the path of foolishness and foolishness will, all, all, will, will lead you to doom. Then, number eight is lack of connection to a supernatural source. There is no body that is on earth that should not have a, a, a link to a supernatural power. See, this world is not, it's not clear eyes that you used to live it. The supernatural world rules the physical. The, the realm of the spirit is superior to the realm of, the, of, of this earth that we are in. So if you are not connected to a supernatural source, that is the reason why God commands his children to be connected to him. That is why when a believer gives his life, when a person gives his life to Christ, the Bible will regard the person as you are in Christ and Christ is in you. There is always a connection between you because if you stay alone, you are going to dry. Like the, like, like the analogy of John, he said, I am the vine, you are the branches. See, you are a branch, I am the vine. So a branch is connected to a vine. But if a, if a branch decides to stay on its own, that branch is going to dry up. There are so many people that are dried up today because they are not connected to the source of power. The supernatural realm is a source of power. The supernatural realm is the source of life. If you are not connected to the supernatural realm, it is not possible for you to receive anything substantial on earth. Why? Because the supernatural world rules the physical. Number nine is refusing to obey spiritual and natural laws. There are spiritual principles. There are, there are physical laws that govern the universe. If you fail to recognize and work with them, if you fail to obey the rules and regulation that runs this world, you are going to find yourself to be blamed. Now, one of the ways of getting rich in this world is giving. The Bible says, give and it shall be given unto you. It is both a physical and spiritual law. So if you want to make it in life, you want to be prosperous, you must have the ability to give. If you are not a giver, you cannot 
prosper beyond the measure that you are prospering now. Let us take illustration from farm. It is not possible for a farmer to go to the farm and begin to reap. He has to plant. He has to give the land a seed. When you give the land a seed, after a year or thereabout, you are going to reap the harvest. That small thing that you have you planted, you put into the ground, is going to yield multiplication. You are going to get it. The Bible says, Isaac sowed in the land of famine. And in that same year, he reaped a hundredfold. If Isaac did not sow, Isaac cannot reap anything. It's not possible for Isaac to reap what he did not sow. So, if you want to go far in life, you must learn how to give. How to give. How to give is very, very important. Then number 10, which is the last one, is lack of plan for tomorrow. He that refused to plan has actually planned to fail. There are many people that do not have plan for their lives. They do not have plan for the future because they don't have a strategy, a structure that should run their life. Anybody that does not have a structure, a plan for his life, does not, you do not have vision for tomorrow, you can never go far. You cannot see future in a future that you did not vision. So you must be able to have a vision, a plan for tomorrow in order to become prosperous. If you don't have vision for your life, you don't have goal for your life, you don't have ambition, a set out rule that you are going to follow in order to actualize the success you are looking for, you are not going to get it. I pray the Lord will bless you with all these points that I've made mention of in Jesus' name. Amen.